morning. Um, I have a nurse coming for my dressing change, not my nurse. Hopefully soon, so I just want to say good morning. And, um, I think I'm going to have to take another nap today. I'm really tired, so I'll see you guys in a few. Alright guys, <clears throat> so a decent amount of things just happened. Um, like since I spoke to, last spoke to you guys, just weird. Like, sorry, I'm like pacing, but just like, I'm not having a good day. I potentially could have a good day. It depends on how I feel for the rest of the day. But um, I was up. I had my dressing change. Like, I got my supplies last night, so I'm putting those away right now. And now I feel well enough to be doing that. And I'm watching some stuff on YouTube. Then I'm gonna be working on stuff on YouTube. And also, it's all trash. All of it, okay. Anyway, um, but I was crying earlier and was really upset about how I didn't feel well, and I was gonna go to Ikea with my family, but it, it's like this whole mess, but I'll tell you guys about that later. I'm just gonna um, keep getting my stuff worked through, and um, when I'm a little less busy, I'll, I'll talk to you guys. So, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so I'm working on putting all of this crap away. <clears throat> I guess I don't show you guys very often, but this is what my like regular pick um, supply um, drawer looks. And I have another two at Adrian's. Um, and then these are all of the IV bags. So they sent me 14 and I have like three extra. And this is the tubing for the pump, which I have the pump up here. I have a pump holder for it, but I think I left that at Adrian's. Um, so that's how my pull looks like. Or if I'm like laying down, I've definitely shown you guys, then it's like right there. So it's nice. I have it faced the other way so I don't have to worry about the bright light, you know, c going on and off. Um, I did just realize too that I don't know where my camera charger is. So next time I see you guys, I really hope I have it. Otherwise, I can't see you guys, so here's hoping I'll, I'll, I'll find it. Look what I found. So I'm excited because I didn't want to go back to Adrian's tomorrow and not know if it was here or there. So I'm really happy I found it here so I can charge my batteries and all is good. Um, my room is almost done with the cleaning, thank God, for medication. Um, and... Yeah, I'm going to work on the vlogs tonight. I'm going to go back and text all my friends or anybody that's tried talking to me recently because I've been in my A a lot. So I'm going to try to make this an in-bed good day. So we'll see. We will see. But I just wanted to say hi, and I'm happy I found my battery. All right, so meltdown number two today. Um, just so stressed. Like, not even stressed, just like so upset recently I don't know but yeah I don't know I don't know why this has gotten so bad the past like week or so um I'm trying to put the, the like a this like long long vlog up because I calmed down and now I can do this so and then my mom and my sister are going to Chick-fil-a and I'm gonna try to have a milkshake and um they're awesome. They're so good. Um, so I have that to look forward to. Oh, and then me and my mom, I texted her and the neighbor that we go walking with. Um, I texted my mom about texting her to give like early, like advance notice so that we could go. Because theoretically, like we usually go around 730 at night. So it's 330 right now. So if she, sometimes they don't give each other like any notice at all. Um, it's usually like 10 minutes before, but um, I'm hoping that we can meet up with her and talk. She's had the, oh my gosh, maybe like later I'll tell you this story because it's kind of weird. You know what? I'm going to tell you guys a weird story now because why not? Um, she's having like a lot of renovations done at her house and like... People have, like, reported her to the, like, to the police um, because she was going to get, like, a bathroom that you need, like, you need something contracted to get um, a bathroom in your house or something like that. 
and that nobody knows except me and my family and her family. Nobody knows about the fact that they they renovated and put it in a completely new bathroom. You know, it's just like weird. So she would have had to had someone know about it for it to be, um, you know, for them to to call her. So it's like they have it out for her. Then there was like another situation. I don't even remember what happened. But the same thing where there was literally, it was like someone was out to get her. It's so weird. But now she's like finishing up. She's done a lot. Um, they've had to do a lot of stuff. So they're at like the tail end of everything now and they're almost done. And she's had some problems with the contractors, but like they're good. Everything's doing a lot better. Just weird, a really weird situation. So I'm telling my mom to just tell her in advance that I want to go. And I'm editing this video. I'm going to have a milkshake. I'm going to get my resume done. And I'm going to go back to Adrian's tomorrow. And um, if we're not walking, then I want to shower. But if I shower, I don't want to have to walk after it. So. My day's get, getting a little screwed up, but anyway, I just wanted to update you guys. Um, barely hanging in there today, but I'm trying. Um, just trying to figure out this video for you guys because I made it very confusing for myself. Also, by the way, because I've been getting so much questions, so many questions about this, Thelma is still um, outside right now. She's well, she's gonna be outside until I'm sorry, guys, until the end of August. When my parents come back from their vacation then she's going to be going to the vet she's going to get all her shots she's going to be tested for like um leukemia and all that stuff so then we're going to be in a better place to possibly bring her inside but once it starts getting even like remotely cold what we're going to start doing unless we can take her in like my house and we're allowed to have her in the house because she's so affectionate and even more affectionate than Rosie is. It's in, like, it's insane. But my mom said that it's like probably because she's um, more grateful, I guess, for us because she lives outside. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, but she is just so affectionate and so cute. Um, so what we will probably do if we can't get her in is set up that she'd go into our garage at night so we'd have her in blankets and stuff and you know she doesn't have to worry about being out in the cold and they were able to like give her better care you know make it so she's not out roaming around while um in the middle of the night and, and you know potentially be doing um unsafe things so for right now uh that's what we're talking about doing and then there's still this whole process of trying to figure out if we can get her back in and all that stuff, but this is a good thing, you know, as long as she makes the next month, which she probably will, um, then we're good. So, there's that, I did want to actually talk about that, I've forgotten to, like, mention it at all recently, so, yeah, I just wanted to let you, know, you guys know. What's really been working for me recently? Yogurt is my best friend. I don't want this day to be just, like, medical stuff but I guess I need to update you guys on some stuff. Um, I've noticed, I might have said this already, but I noticed that, um, like when I was in the hospital when I had sepsis, I was having yogurt all the time, and yogurt's never given me problems, and I think I'm realizing now that anything like solid is hurting my stomach or is too difficult to digest, and if I have something like um, sorbet or, you know, if I have lactose-free ice cream, if I have yogurt, like, all of that type of stuff is so easily digestible, and I don't have issues with it. And honestly, I, I can't have a ton, but I can have pasta, and, you know, the pasta, my family tends to purposely overcook, um, so it's nice and soft. So, um, that's what's been working for me recently. I guess I can't really. Solid food, make, like, makes me feel sick. So I tried having chicken the other night, and it, it, I couldn't, I had like two bites, I couldn't have it. So I just figured I'd let you, you guys know, like that's what I've been doing. That's what's been working for me, so. I'm still waiting for my mom and sister to get home. 
but they probably hit traffic, so we'll see. Ugh, today is just like a mundane talking about life day. Yeah. Hey guys, so I don't know what I vlogged last, um, but I ended up kind of, I went for a walk with my mom, and we didn't do like a long walk, but we just were walking, and um, I mean that was good, I was able to make it two rounds, which I try to do three, but sometimes I just can't, um, so that happened, and then, oh I watched, um, I'm watching Stranger Things, I just started it. So I'm watching that, I think that's all I watched tonight, and then I had it on my laptop. Um, I ended up showering too, and like, I felt so sick that I showered with cold water, which is not, it's not something that happens to me. So I, you know that, that, you know, I was desperate. <laughs> that's pretty much it. I'm dying, so I'm gonna just close out the vlog and say hi to you guys tomorrow. Um, yeah, today's just, I, I had to spend the day doing little pieces, little pieces. Like, I couldn't do something at once. I had to go back and do, like, even putting lotion on, I had to rush for a few minutes, you know, to put lotion on. And, um, you know, just, like, little things like that um, have been hard, but trying and there's nothing really I can do. I'm doing everything I can. So speaking of lotion, I want to put another layer of it on. So I'm going to do that. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. And thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all the support you've been giving me and 